Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about how to study effectively for exams. This is something that I consider myself pretty good at. I haven't always gotten the best grades, but I've usually gotten very good grades on exams. I tend to get some of the top grades in classes, and I think that a lot of it has to do with how I approach coursework and how I approach exams. So the short answer of how to do well on exams is to not study for them. Like, just don't think about studying for the exam at all. Now that might seem a little strange to you, unintuitive, because there are a lot of messages that say you need to study harder, you need to focus on preparing for this exam. And I'm proposing something kind of radical. Throw that idea out entirely. Instead, focus on learning the subject and focus on doing that from the very beginning of the course, or even from before the beginning of the class. Just, if you're going to take a class, start thinking about that subject. Get the textbook early, start reading ahead in it, start thinking about it, start discussing it with other people, start reading about it on the internet. Let it go over in your mind while you're going through your daily activities, while you're in the shower, while you're going on a walk, and so on. And then stay, stay focused when you're taking the class. Pay attention to what the teacher or professor is saying. And if there's something that you don't understand, make a mental note of it, or even a written note, and then try to figure it out. Try to figure it out on your own, or go to the professor to talk about it. And don't really think about the exam. If you take that approach, I'd be willing to bet that most of the time, you end up doing really well on the exam. This has been my experience. Now, it's not always going to be true. I've actually taken some courses where the exams are designed in such a way that they focus on these sort of minute facts that you really need to memorize. There's some cases where you actually need to memorize material. But, my experience is that in most subjects, if you work with the material enough, you will memorize it anyway. Like, a good example is organic chemistry. That has a lot of detail that you need to learn in order to master that subject. But if you're really working with it, you'll see, like, the names of the different chemical compounds and the different terminology, and you'll work with it a lot, and you'll, you'll, it'll get into your mind just because you're working with it. In my experience, that's been much more effective than just memorizing. If you find yourself stuck in a course or a program that has a lot of exams that are forcing you to study for the exam itself, my recommendation would be to try switching professors, try getting a different class, or maybe even consider changing majors. I don't think it's worth putting up with a sort of educational environment in which you're forced to study for the exam. Because my experience is that when I study for the exam, like when I'm studying intensely the night or two before an exam, it's like in one ear, out the other. Like, it gets into my mind, it doesn't really get into my long-term memory, it's like intellectual bulimia. I'm like force it, forcing it down my throat, and then I barf it up on the test, and then it's just like, it's gone. I didn't digest any of it. I didn't integrate it into my thinking. So, I really want people to focus on genuine learning, learning for the sake of learning. And my experience has been that when I do that, and I do that from the beginning and do it proactively, I pretty much ace most of the exams. Uh, I hope that this can be informative for people, and I hope it can liberate someone from that cycle of sort of forcing yourself to study for the exam when it doesn't really feel natural, and then not really retaining the material. I'm pleased to say that I've retained material from courses I took 10 or even more years ago quite well, and I think a lot of it has to do with how I approach learning. Um, anyway, thank you for your time, and I hope that this has given you some insight and hopefully inspired you to approach learning in a way that will be more fruitful and easier for you in the long term, and will enrich your life.